guys, so time for math. So we have started finding perimeters of our geometrical shapes. So yesterday we found the perimeter of a triangle, which was A plus B plus C. And we also found the perimeter of a rectangle, two times the length plus two times the width. So today we are starting our perimeter of a square, which is every bit as easy as the other two. So when we find the perimeter of a square, let's say here is our square. Um, it's a little bit more rectangular than square, doesn't it? Bring that down a little bit. Right, pretend here is our square, and we have two centimeters. So each side is two centimeters. Now, if we if we are um, if we don't you know understand multiplication, we can say perimeter of a square equals side plus side plus side plus side. But because we understand multiplication, we are going to use the formula perimeter equals side times four. So that is how we are going to write our, um, our, per, our formula for the perimeter of a square. So the perimeter is simply perimeter equals four times two, perimeter equals eight centimeters. So it is that simple, um, finding the perimeter of a square. I want you to get your math books and open them to page 253. I do want to show you something else that's kind of algebraic, though, when we're writing our formulas. We can either write, and, and we, we see this in our equations, as a matter of fact. We, you know, our, per, our formula is perimeter equals 4 times S, or perimeter equals 4 S. Remember when we have a number and a letter right beside each other, what do we automatically do, just like in our equations? It means multiply. So you can write it. Either way, I just need to be sure that you do have it have it written, okay? All right, so looking at our, um, at page 253, looking at our class practice number one, 1A, solve these story problems. Caleb built a square doghouse for spot. Each side is four feet. What is the perimeter of the doghouse? So it's going to be perimeter equals 4S, perimeter equals 4 times four, perimeter equals 16, and it was feet, equals 16 feet. That is our answer, okay? So letter B, Miss Wright had the children measure the rectangular classroom. They found the length to be 14.3 yards and the width to be 10.9 yards. Find the perimeter of the classroom. So perimeter of our rectangle is going to be 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. <coughs> Excuse me. So, perimeter equals 2 times, our first measurement was 14.3 plus 2 times, our second measurement was 10.9. So when we go ahead and we multiply them out, 14.3 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, 1 times 2 is 2, our decimal comes over 1 point, perimeter equals 28.6 plus 10.9 times 2, 9 times 2 is 18, put 8 down, carry the 1, 0 plus 1, and 2, plus 21.8. I'm going to bring my 21.8 right over here. Add it up. 6 and 8 is 14. 8, 9, 10. 2, 4, 5. Our perimeter equals 50.4 and we were measuring in yards. Okay? Letter C. Elizabeth constructed a triangle. Two of the angles measured 55 degrees and 40 degrees. What was the measure of the third angle. So remember the angles on the triangle, no matter what kind of triangle it is, the angles, now we're not talking about the sides, we're talking about the angles of a triangle will equal 180 degrees. So they're telling us that one angle degree was 55 degrees, 
one was 40 degrees. They wanted to know what the third angle was. Five plus zero is five. Five plus four is nine. So we take our 180, we subtract our 95. T minus nine is eight. So our other angle was 85 degrees, okay? I'm going to look at um, letter D. Zach told Mrs. Colbert that he constructed a seven-sided octagon. Why is this impossible? Why is it impossible to construct a seven-sided octagon? Think about it. How many arms does an octopus have? Eight. So an octagon has eight sides. So it was impossible to construct a seven-sided octagon because that would make get not an octagon. I think it's called a uh, I don't know. What, I know what it's called, but I can't remember the beginning of the um so I guess I really don't know. I just know about the sound. So um <clears throat> so that would not be an octagon and I don't remember We'll learn in a, in a few days back in the book what the seven-sided figure is called. Okay, but an eight-sided figure is an octagon. You can remember that because octopuses have eight legs. Okay, so go ahead and look at um, section four. Use the formula to find the perimeter of each square. So um, the square is 3.1 feet. So perimeter equals 4s. Perimeter equals 4 times 3.1. And then you continue working it out from there. And then the rest is... Um, the rest is review for you. I want you to look at page 254 on the back and look at section 10. You can put a big X over section 10. We will not be doing those two problems in section 10. Now, those of you who uh, message me later on today, of course, you're not going to hear this part anyways, and say, I don't know how to do 10 A and B. I'm going to tell those people, if you would have watched the video, you would know you didn't have to do that. So, um, so go ahead and... Um, do your best work today and have a great day.